I've probed ages showing fuel line problems. The team of engineers working on the Voyager I probe successfully replaced the engines in the aging spacecraft. The problems were related to the fuel lines, which began to clog after 47 years in space. The Voyager I probe, along with its twin, the Voyager 2 probe, was launched into space in 1977. Since then, the spacecraft has been traveling the vastness of space. Its primary mission was to study the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Once the objectives were achieved, mission managers directed it to the heliopause, the boundary of the heliosphere, a protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields generated by our Sunday. At this boundary, the solar wind slows down, and the pressure of the galactic winds begins to prevail over the pressure of the solar wind. This boundary is located about 18 billion kilometers from the Sunday. The Voyager I probe crossed it and entered interstellar space in 2012. It is currently about 24 billion kilometers from Earth. This year, both probes celebrate 47 years in space. It must be admitted that this is historic equipment and if it were on Earth, it would probably end up in a museum. But the probes are still operational and are the farthest from Earth, and their location provides a unique opportunity to conduct measurements. Although not all of the scientific instruments are functional, some of them still collect data that is sent to Earth. But for the valuable data to reach our planet, the probe must be properly aligned to orient itself towards Earth, so that communication works properly, the spacecraft uses engines. Voyager 1, like its twin, has three engines. Two sets to orient the probe in space and one to correct the flight trajectory. In recent years, the spacecraft has begun to show signs of its age. In November last year, it stopped sending scientific and engineering data to mission control. Instead, mission managers received a completely unreadable signal. The failure was resolved only in June of this year. But these are not the probe's only problems. For years, NASA engineers have been battling problems with the probe's engines which keep the spacecraft pointed at Earth so that it can receive commands and send collected data. The problems concern fuel lines that are getting clogged. The engines are powered by liquid hydrazine, which turns into a gas and releases in tens of millisecond blasts to gently tilt the spacecraft's antenna toward Earth. The probe needs to make about 40 such pulses a day. The fuel lines of the engines become clogged with silicon dioxide from rubber components placed in the fuel tank. This reduces the efficiency of the power generated by the engines. During the long mission Voyager I, the engines were used for various purposes. But since crossing the heliopause, the spacecraft has been flying straight ahead and all it needs is to properly point the antenna toward Earth. Importantly, each of the three engines can be used for this purpose. In 2002, a team of NASA engineers first noticed that some of the fuel lines leading to the engine used for orientation in space were getting clogged. The team decided to change the engine at that time. This solution worked for 16 years. But in 2018, the changed engine also began to show signs of fuel line blockage. Engineers then decided to use the engine design to correct the flight trajectory for orientation in space. Since then, Voyager I has used this engine to point its antenna at Earth. But recently it turned out that the fuel lines of this engine, as NASA engineers have determined, are even more clogged than in the other two. The clogged lines are located inside the engines and direct the fuel to the catalytic converters, 
where it is converted into gases. The original diameter of the line was 0.25 mm. Currently, as NASA admitted in a press release, the diameter is only 0.035 mm. As a result, the team had to switch the Earth-facing orientation to one of the previously used engines. Switching engines was a relatively simple operation in 1980 or even 2002. But the age of the spacecraft introduced new challenges, mostly related to power and temperature. Years ago, Voyager I had shut down all non-essential onboard systems, including some heaters, to conserve the gradually diminishing electrical power source generated by plutonium decay. While these steps reduced power requirements, they also cooled the spacecraft significantly. Before the engine change, engineers feared that the fuel lines, which had not been used for years, had frozen. Starting the engines in this state could damage them, rendering them useless. Therefore, the engine heaters had to be turned on before the switch, but this raised another problem, where to get the power for them. The spacecraft's power supply is so weak that turning on the engine heaters would require turning off something else to provide the heaters with enough power, and everything that is currently running is considered essential. After investigating the problem, researchers ruled out shutting down one of the still-functioning science instruments for a limited time, because there was a risk that the instrument would not return to normal operation. Eventually, the engineering team determined that they could safely turn off one of the spacecraft's main heaters for an hour, releasing enough energy to turn on the engine heaters. The solution worked. Mission managers are aware that eventually there will be a problem that will end the Voyager's mission. However, if such a problem can be avoided, the power will eventually run out. Both structures are powered by radio thermoelectric generators, which are getting worse year by year. According to NASA estimates, around 2025 the generators may no longer be able to provide adequate power for operation. Say a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a